How does computer memory work? Well, let's look at the basics. The first thing that we're going to make is something called a D-latch, or a data latch, with two inputs, data and set, and an output. So how does this work? Well, the way the D-latch works is it will only save our data input if the set input is on. So for example, if we were to turn on the data, nothing would change, but that's because we haven't turned on the set yet. We can think of the set as sort of a save function. So for example, when we turn on the set, now our output is on because we just saved our output to whatever our data input was. So even if we were to turn off our set and our data, the output would stay the same because it has been saved since the last time our set input was turned on. Let's say that we wanted to save a zero now. Well, since our data is off, if we were to turn on our set, boom, we've saved a zero. But this is pretty complicated to look at. So let's replace it with a simple memory chip. But there's one more thing we're gonna do. We don't want our memory to constantly be reading or constantly outputting what's in it. So to fix this, we're going to add an enable function by giving another input and anding it with the output of the memory chip. Therefore, we can have whatever we want saved in the memory, but not always be reading it in the output. So let's replace this with a register, and that's what we just built. But this register only stores one bit. Here's a refresher of what a bit is. And let's say that we want to store more bits, like say a byte. Well, all we would do is put the set and enable to eight data inputs. So we would get something that looks like this. Well, that's simple computer memory, and I'll see you in the next one.